Hello, I'm Rosette. I'm cursing you with my voice, and recently I've been having entirely way too many thoughts about one Warrior Cat you that I made over a year ago. Uh, so I'm just gonna talk about it. Basically, what I did was I threw the entirety of Malevolent into Warrior Cats. Now, going forward, you do not need to know anything about Malevolent for this AU to make sense, but you would probably get more out of it if you've listened to the podcast, which I would highly recommend. If you're into horror and don't mind gore, violence, arguments, and general unpleasant sounds, I'm looking at you, Offer Lester. Okay, on to the AU. So this AU focuses on a kitty pet named Arthur. He's an ex-rogue and lives with another kitty pet known as Parker, and they are close friends. They act as kitty detectives in their neighborhood, and we're looking for a group of cats in the woods because of the frequent disappearances that it will tie back to them. During an investigation, the pair encounter a large cat clearly from the woods. They try to ask the stranger about the group in the wood, but the stranger lashes out instead, starting a fight that kills Parker and almost kills the stranger, but StarClan seemingly takes pity on the cat and keeps them alive. In a way. Their body has been completely removed from existence and they are forced to share one with Arthur, the stranger taking control of the eyes and being reduced to a voice in Arthur's head. Needless to say, neither of them are happy about this r- arrangement, but they agree to work together until they are able to separate. Arthur asks for the name of the stranger, who hesitantly responds that they don't have one. Arthur jokingly says they can be called John Doe, a name for unidentified people, and the stranger agrees. And thus, Ron and Arthur disembark on their very fun adventure. So those are the basics. Now onto the fun part, where I explain the characters. In this AU, Arthur starts as a rogue, with his parents dying mysteriously when he was young. He mostly raised himself, and when he grew up, he became close friends with another rogue named Bella, even offering to help raise her kids when her mate left her. He kept this promise when she later died, however that did not last long as the one kit that from her litter that survived uh, drowned while Arthur was out hunting due to playing too close to the river. This led to him meeting Parker, collapsing outside his door one day and being taken in by Parker's uh, house folk. They became fast friends uh, from there until John uh, showed up and threw a bit of a wrench in their relationship. John was a cat once known as Golden Eyes and he was the son of the leader of the Mysterious clan. He was driven out due to being suspected of being disloyal. Because of this, he abandoned the name Golden Eyes due to his connections to the clans and eventually found his way to Parker and Arthur's home planned to only spend a night there, then get a move on. Unfortunately, his plans were interrupted, and he has been since cursed to share a body with Arthur. His former clan leader and father is known as the King. The King is incredibly controlling and definitely not a cat, but that is not knowledge your whole clan possesses. No one knows how long he's been leader, they just know he is the leader, and crossing him is incredibly dangerous. His two sons, John and Yellowheart, have a very complex relationship. Yellowheart is very loyal and constantly tries to prove himself to the king, while John is put off by the king's actions but is too scared to question it for seeing how the king treats those who disobeys. Despite trying to hide it, this mistrustful behavior was found out and reported by Lark Ant, leading him to get him kicked out. Lark Ant is the clan's deputy and one of the few people who know about the supernatural of the clan, including the king. Lark Ant is incredibly loyal, ready to report any misstep and carry out any minor punishments for the king. Large punishments are carried out by Houndsong, a dog the clan took in as a pup and a fierce hunter. Houndsong tracks down any cat who tries to leave and kills them, including John and Arthur who is Houndsong's current target, and with the help of Scratchstone, Houndsong is very close to finding them. 
Scratch Stunt, while not particularly close to the king, is still a force to be reckoned with. They have an uncannily strong connection with Star Clan, granting them the ability to haunt the dreams of other cats and slowly take over their minds. They use this to both gather information and torment others, and Arthur is frequently visited by them. However, the most dangerous cat in the clan by far is the medicine cat. Coin Flip came to the clan as a seemingly unassuming kitty pet, but quickly climbed ranks, assuming full medicine cat position within a few months of joining, following the mysterious death of the previous med cat. This is when the disappearances started, as cats would start to question the uncanny look of the cat with horns and would soon never be seen again. Coin flip cannot be controlled by the king, and he takes great pride in this fact. But he kills for fun, often out of boredom, and you only save from her if she finds you personally interesting in which he will do everything in his power to keep you alive. There are a few other cats, like the Rogue Marie that lets John and Arthur crash at hers occasionally, and her friend Oscar, who has a weird relationship with Scratchstone and is very interested in Arthur. Then there's Emily, a rogue John met while he was still a part of the clan and was the person to plant the seeds of doubting John. And finally, there's Larkent's son, Goatpaw, a violent young cat who is currently training under Houndsong. And that's it. That's all for this AU. Um, I made this before 38 came out, and it will have to live with the fact that we are into Season 5. Uh, listen from Level is great. Um, I love it, and bye. I took my head for a spin.